Now, you probably know how to copy, cut and paste something in virtually any software available because the rules and even the shortcuts, which are the Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus X and Ctrl plus V respectively, are pretty much standardized. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. But Illustrator gives you some more control over copying and pasting. I have these three objects right here, a square, a circle and a star. As you can see, they are stacked on top of each other. I'll copy the star and now I'll paste it. But I'm not just gonna paste it, I'll paste it in front, meaning that I will put it not only exactly on top of the first star, I'll also put it in place. And for that, I'll go to the Edit menu and choose Paste in front. Or, which is even better, I could use the Ctrl F shortcut. If I want to paste an object in the back, I could use the Ctrl B shortcut, which is like going to the Edit menu and choosing Paste in back. In this case, I'll put the star in place and behind the first star. But I wouldn't be myself if I didn't show you a nice trick here. I'll get rid of these stars so they don't block our view. Say I do want to copy the star, but I want to have it not only behind the star I'm copying, but also behind the circle. To do that, I'll simply select the circle and now choose the Ctrl B shortcut to paste the star in the back. Now, you can't see it behind the circle, because we pasted it exactly in the same spot. But if I move it now, you can see that it actually is behind the circle. And this, of course, works the same way with pasting in front. So, if you want to paste an object behind some different object, this trick will let you do that. So, I guess that's pretty neat, huh? Um, these techniques and shortcuts are very useful, guys, and you will use them a lot, so it's a good idea to practice them. You know, since we are talking about placing objects in respect to each other, I think it's a good moment to run through arranging them. Arranging means moving an object on top of the stack, or to the bottom of it, or only one step to the top, or one step to the bottom. To do that, we can go to Object menu, choose Arrange, and in this flyout menu we get four different options. We can bring the object to front or bring it forward. We can send it backward or to the back. So let's see what it actually does. I'll select the star and choose send to back. Now the star is all the way to the back, even behind the square. If I now want to bring it to the front again, I'll choose bring to front. To send the star one step to the back, I'll simply choose send backward. And to bring it one step forward, I'll choose bring forward. So yeah, this is arranging. And yes, you need some practice to get the hang of it, and it's best to learn it along with the shortcut associated to arranging. Because going all the way up to the Arrange menu every time you want to move an object in a stack is just simply too time consuming. Okay, so these are the basics of copying and pasting in Illustrator. Let's move to cloning. Cloning, however it may sound, is not the same as copying, because copying means that you put something into your clipboard, and every time you copy something new, well, you put this into your clipboard. And that means that you're not able to paste the first thing you copied. So whenever you want to have some more copies of different objects, it's best to keep them handy by cloning them. I know it all may sound a little strange, but it will all clear out in a second. So, what is cloning? Let me quickly clean the artboard up. I'll create a simple square and make it blue, maybe. Okay, if I have a square like this one, and if I select it with any of the selection tools, and when I move it around while holding down the Alt key, I will get a clone of it. Again, hold down the Alt key, move the object wherever you like, and you'll get an exact copy. And that's cloning. And say I want to have some more exact copies of an object that I just cloned, and I don't want to repeat the same step over and over again. I could instead go to Transform and choose Transform again. 
This is a very, very powerful technique that repeats the last used transformation, which in this case was cloning, so virtually copying by moving. And as you get better at the software, you will want to use the Ctrl D shortcut instead of going to the object menu, say, 30 times in a row. Of course, this technique works not only with cloning, but also other transformations, like moving or rotating, but we will talk about that in another video. In the next video is reserved for the power and magic of the pen tool, so hold on tight.